Hi, my beautiful people. Welcome back to Mosaic. Beautifully broken, purposefully placed. And it is your girl coming back to you about a week after this huge cruise that I went on. So I know I've been MIA for a lot of reasons. There's just a lot of things going on in life right now. 20s can be like a huge transitional time. Um, it's when you're finding out who you are to its core, um, fresh out of college and just trying to make the right decisions for yourself. Also being a newlywed, just so many exciting and trivial and you know confusing things all at once that you have to deal with. But I am back and I am recording. I've been recording, but now I'm editing um, because last time when I had my wedding and all those videos and pictures and memories, I didn't do anything with them. I was editing them, but I never published and they all got deleted in an update when my computer broke down. So now I am back and I'm with you guys and I don't think I'm going anywhere. So stay, stay tuned into Mosaic. Um, and <laughs> guys, it is pouring cats and dogs and my body is really hurting. Um, but this video must go on because I have said, it's been raining all week, but I have said this video has got to be done before the end of this week, before October hits. So I'm gonna push through the pain, but it is raining. Look at that. It's crazy. So let me get to this whole karaoke contest. When I initially heard of it, I don't like to compete with re recreational things. I don't like to be competitive. Um, I love academia and I, I love staying invested in that, um, being competitive and that what. But with like other talents besides my brain, I just don't know how to function. I don't know how to, you know, ease the anxiety of being judged based off of, you know, likes, not facts and stuff. So it was it was a very hard thing for me to come to raps with. But the bar was so close to my house that, you know, I was like, okay, just just do it. Just do it. Do this contest. Um, so the place that hosted the event was called Firehouse Bar and Grill here in Abilene, Texas. And it was hosted by 3M Karaoke. Um, and they are just one of the most amazing bunch of people that can put on so many events and reach so many people. So in this karaoke contest, it was uh, through the month of August for four weeks, every Tuesday, and I went the first round, and I sang Barton Hollow by the Civil Wars, which I love. I love the acoustic R&B soulsy you know i've been through some stuff music um and it just it just spoke to my soul so i, I decided to sing that one i sang both the male and the uh, female part so i just sang it all together and i feel like i do that song justice because i've been doing it for a while but um one of the other things that you know really shocked me was i did you know i competed we go through the weeks and I get, I sit there and I listen to all the beautiful, amazing voices that came out. Voices. Voices that came out and um, I was just so amazed at the crowd and talent that we had in Abilene, Texas and I was thinking to myself, okay, these people need to come back regularly. Um, and I, w I really wish that, you know, we could get more karaoke years because there's just a small group of us, probably like 10 that I know who you know, constantly are at the karaoke events, but we were singing to each other. And you know, that after a while it gets, you know, we know each other's songs, we know each other's faces, we know each other's attitudes, the drinks we're gonna get, the food we're gonna eat. And so just to have those new faces pop in, even for this contest was just amazing to see all the talent showcased in Abilene right there in that, those couple of weeks. And so I went there and I cheered everybody on, hoping that mo more people would come out and make it and you know qualify with me in that round but I mean as it went on I think there were like 20 20 something singers 
who qualified in the round, which they didn't tell us it would be that much in the first place. There was an insane amount of qualifies, but I'm glad everybody got in and it was finale night. But on the finale night, um, I was racked with anxiety. Like, I was, what do I sing? What do I do? You know, <laughs> it's just something I'd never done before. And everybody was there, everybody and their friends and, and family members. They came out to see who would win and if their, you know, family member or loved one would win the competition they wanted to be there for them. And um, so I was nervous. There's lots of people in there. It's not usually a huge crowd and, you know, but I got up there and I sang my songs. I was shaking in my boots. It, I really was shaking in my little hot wedges. It was horrible. I just felt like my, the stage was gonna come out from underneath me and then I'd fall flat on my face. It was, it was a story to be seen. But not, none of that happened. Um, on the finale night was, it was August 29th and all the singers had to pick two songs initially <laughs> so my first two songs were girl crush by little big town and i just love that song because um even though it appeals to that standard of beauty you know long tall blonde hair woman who's thin and you know has nice things and can offer your man things you can't i took it in a different way because I felt like when I sing it, I sing it with the emotion that I don't want to be anything like that, but that I'm happy to be who I am, but I, I acknowledge that I'm not, you know, the standard of beauty. So in my way, like, I don't think of it as a negative song, especially with the contrast of me being black, short hair, you know, average body type, I would say. Um, the, you know, that song isn't me, but... I'm acknowledging, you know, what the world sees. So just a little bit of reality in there. Don't don't mind me. So the next song that I sang, and you have to sing them back to back. So I sang Girl Crush and then I sang Two Black Cadillacs by Carrie Underwood. And I had never done these two songs in my karaoke usual lineup when I'd come weekly. But these two songs, like I love these songs. Um Two Black Cadillacs, you just go through the storyline, and if you've ever seen a video, like, go look at the video. Um, it is awesome. Like, the whole storyline just keeps you on the edge of your seat, like, what happened? Oh, you know, you thought the wife was mad at the mistress, but no, they teamed up, and bam, he's dead, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to kill my husband in soon, but... Anyway, <laughs> so I sang those two songs, and I just... I gave it my all. Um, I walked off the stage and I was nervous, but then I sat down in my chair and realized this is just a competition. I shouldn't like be daunted based off of the the results or whatever at the end of this. You know, I just I I still want to have fun and I still enjoy hearing other people sing and hear their songs and just wonder what it means to them because I know songs mean different things to me. So um, I had wondered and cheered everybody on throughout the whole night and just enjoyed myself really. So by that time, like, you know, I knew that the results were coming up and the anxiety. So I decided to give myself some liquid, liquid courage and I think I went too far, but I, I, I did have a great time. Um, Lonnie arrived a little bit later. He didn't get to see me perform, but it's okay. Um, uh, he came and sat with me for the part I needed him through because <laughs> I mean my nerves were everywhere and I was like oh who's gonna win who's gonna win you know I, I deep down I hoped it was me but I did not think I would ever win something you know recreation was doing something that I love to do so I was um by that time I had two what was it three Long Island iced teas you know traditional traditional Long Island iced teas um, and those drinks are pretty strong and I'm telling you they made them pretty strong that night but after I had you know ordered the third one and I was halfway through it they the judges asked for everybody to pick a, a, a third song and I was like what what's going on you know <laughs> like just thinking what's going on you know the nights a blur but I remember I picked one and I was like so thankful that um, 
the DJ, um, Riesel, DJ Wildman, he was so amazing. He surprised me. He had a song that I just love to sing. I love to sing it. I just really do love to sing it. It means so much to me. Um, it talks about uh, the gravity of a relationship where it's polar and then it's, you know, just pulling you in and all this stuff and something that you can't control. So I really um, was surprised that he had that song and me and my, you know, having a couple of drinks, I was like, okay, I can do this song, you know, I can do this song. So the song was Gravity by Sarah Barry Ellis. And I love this song, love, love, love this song. I really love this song and I can do it. And it has this big riff at the end saying that you're keeping me down and I usually do it well but that night I don't think I did it well I don't even think I hit it so it was so surprising to me but I went up there and I had so much fun like it was just all a blur after that but so like then all the other singers singers I'm from Texas all the other singers they uh they had uh done their last song and then the judge took time to the judges or three took time to um, deliberate on the results and so my reaction I was sitting there finishing up my third little um, Long Island iced tea and I'm like Ooh, and I'm talking because they were like on stage but he was the DJ wasn't saying anything and I was like oh okay whatever so I was talking to Lonnie and I was talking to my other friend and I I don't even know what was being said, but he, the DJ asked for a drum roll, and so everybody's just there, drum rolling, and then they, he announces my name, but it took me two times for, you know, him to say, Britannia, you know, you're the winner, and I acknowledged it, and then everybody around me is like pushing me, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's going on, and I, I won, I was so surprised, I mean, I think I jumped up out of my seat once I realized because um, my husband just told me how I reacted. But he's like, you jumped up out of your seat and you stumbled over there to the to the thing. And he was asking, he said the DJ was asking me questions, but I don't even think I answered them. I was like, I won? Me? Really? You know, super genuine surprise. Um, and I'm so sorry, guys. You won't get to see me um, perform these songs. Well, well, you won't get to see my performance of those songs that night, but maybe I'll perform them then another time. I don't know. Don't, don't. Don't expect that. I'm probably not gonna do that. But um, I didn't record them because I had. I mean, I, I was very doubtful that I'd actually win. So I was very so surprised and excited and enthusiastic that I had won a cruise for two. I've never been on a cruise. I've never like won recreational contests. Or anything like that. Not even, my mom says I won a cakewalk. And I think I did win, but I think it was a sympathy vote. I don't know. Because, you know, long time ago, little kid crying, switch numbers on a cakewalk or whatever. I don't know. But in my adult life, this was the first thing that I had won recreational, like not academia, not, you know, athletic or anything, like recreational thing that I do that I love to do that eases me, that calms me soothes my soul and just singing makes it just such a delight in my life like just makes everything better if I can sing through the pain or sing through the joy um, I was raised in the choir with my family my whole family sings I was in UIL choir in high school and middle school and I don't know how long winter school no, I'm playing that but I was in musical things throughout my whole life and about a year ago I started going to karaoke locally and I didn't even know it was a thing because you know you always see it on the movies like everybody's getting drunk and yeah, ah, singing those songs and you're like oh yeah Benny in the Jets sure uh, that'll be me on a karaoke tabletop you know singing my heart out but yeah it was me on stage it was, it was so surprising so anyway I'm not going to talk about that anymore um, my full reaction, like, um, just was overall genuine surprise, enthusiasm, and just gratefulness.
but throughout the weeks, like I'd still go to the karaoke scene and I felt sort of this, this weird feeling, but I really want to speak to it because it's important to me um, that I get it off my chest without, you know, offending any, anybody or anything. Um, so throughout the weeks, like when I was going up to scheduling, all of this stuff, and then I would still go to karaoke with a small group of karaoke ears that I knew. Um, I started feeling that, you know, things weren't the same, you know, people would ask me, hey, you know, when is the cruise? What is it? And at that time, I really didn't know what the cruise was or anything. I found out four days before we went. And then we had that time to prepare. But throughout those weeks, everybody would always ask, and I'm like, I really don't know, guys. I'm not trying to, like, keep it secret or anything. I really didn't know, like, it just happened so fast, but let me get to that. So throughout the weeks before booking the trip, I started noticing, you know, I don't know, I don't want to call it, it was an envious nature, uh, an envious nature. And I am very humble. I don't brag when things happen like this. And I mean, everybody knew I was the karaoke contest winner. Yeah, it's all news. Like, I didn't really care about it anymore. And then I didn't bring it up. Friends brought it up. You know, people I was around brought it up. And I was like, yeah, I did win. And I sang these four songs. And it was great. Everybody came out and they did a great job. And, you know, I don't like the attention on me. But there were, I was put in certain situations where the DJ would announce, hey, we got our karaoke winner, la, 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 and all this stuff. And then you see the people kind of gravitate and stare. And then um, what surprised me the most is just, you know, some of the things that you hear out of people's mouths. They just, they just surprise you. And I really feel like I need to speak to this because it made me feel this thing I'm calling winner's remorse, which isn't even a thing. <laughs> I, I don't know. But let me tell you why I feel this way. So it was said to my face <laughs> that you know you know they were the person was genuinely glad for me or glad to know that they knew the person who won you know it was all you know all good feelings at first and genuine and then you know throughout the, the time we were spending together it was said that I may have only won this this contest because I was a black woman who sings karaoke songs that aren't usual. And by usual, I mean karaoke songs like, when I think of karaoke songs, I think they're just the favorite songs I really like to sing. But in this case, it didn't mean that to this person. And so I can kind of see where they're coming from. Um, but the unusuality of it was that it was country song or contemporary songs or songs not by black people and I was like oh, oh, okay and so it was said that no other black woman this person had never ever seen another black person sing country songs and I was like no I've seen black people sing country songs they're a black country artist there I, I, I don't even know how to explain this but I felt like I was put in a very awkward situation um and then they said, you know, it was they were pro the judges were probably really shocked that you were just black and singing country and it wasn't, you know, all that other jazz, you know, all that other racket, you know. <laughs> and so I was like, what do I say? So I just said, no, I've heard people, black people sing country music. I've heard them sing rock and, you know, I sing, I'm black. I'm black, you know, I sing country, I sing rock, I sing blues, I sing rap, I sing R&B, I sing contemporary, I sing hip hop, I sing co contemporary pop, you know, I sing what appeals to me, what resonates with my soul, and so I didn't really understand that, um, and I tried to, you know, brush it off, but it was said repeatedly, uh, not just on the same day either. Uh, and I didn't really know how to address those feelings without being offensive or taking the offensive. And I don't think I did in person, but after a while, like, it just got old and I was like, okay. I have to believe, <laughs> it was giving me this feeling that I was not worthy of winning this 
this trip. And I have to believe, even though I had a few drinks that night, I have to believe that I won it based off of merit because that's very important to me. It's not a popularity contest. It wasn't, you know, because there are people who, I didn't know any of the judge, I didn't personally know any of the judges. Like a relationship, like we're best friends, we went back, we go way back, you know. I didn't know the, the owners of the bar, I didn't run up a huge tab, I had three drinks over the course of what, four or five hours. Um, I didn't know the DJ or his family very much personally, they just knew who I was. We all have a general understanding that, hey, you're you and I'm me, and hey, you come out to this thing and we're both here. You know, it's, it's nice to know people, um, but I don't necessarily have a deep, profound relationship with these people. So I just felt like that unsolicited comment <laughs> was, uh, and a series of other string along, but that was a major one. That was a major comment that just, you know, made me feel that way that I didn't earn it. But it's very important to me that I did earn this based off of merit, not a popularity contest. I know I'm not popular. I mean, it's just me and my husband and my pug, like 97% of the time. And then I go and do karaoke or my husband goes and he plays his card games. Um, but other than that, like, I'm usually just just me, you know? Um, so, I, I don't know. It really honestly gave me the feeling of winner's remorse. And I just need to say it, um, not to be hurtful or mean or spiteful or anything. Just when someone wins something, there's a point where, you know, if y'all competed in the same thing, that it's okay to be upset. Um, but don't project those feelings onto the winner, you know. They earned that and they don't deserve to feel like they didn't. Um, so maybe next time, if you don't have anything really for sure nice, like unoffensive in, in any way, um, maybe you shouldn't, maybe you shouldn't say it. I, I don't know. But I'm just saying, I didn't necessarily take it offense because of the race card. I took it offense because it was saying like I didn't meet the standard like you know not because I'm black but because I didn't meet the standard of whoever's demented standard whoever created it um that you know either I was too black to sing country or I was too you know something to do this or that uh I didn't really I had a problem more with that my talent didn't that they believe my talent didn't meet the requirement. And I hate coming up short um, because I love to improve myself. And I would have loved that opportunity if I didn't feel like it. So I felt a little winner's remorse going into all of this stuff, but it's over. I, I My husband has reassured me. I cried a few times. I did, I really did cry. I was like, no, if they should do a recount, you know, it's not me, you know, I didn't win. No, take it back. Um, my husband was like, you're, you're crazy. Don't even think that you won this. And you know, I'm like, he's biased. He's my husband. And he loves me. He loves when I sing. So um, it was just a lot to just, just take in for a little while. But I came to grips with it and came to the fact that I am a really good singer whether or not like I'm America's best talent I'm, I'm not trying to say that but I really do appreciate my voice and you know when I do comp compete and things like that I would I would love to win of course that's you know that's the object of the goal you know the whole thing um, but it isn't necessarily what I look forward to so just remember, be there for your friends and just be genuine. If you're upset and you're like, I don't think that was right, you know, you sure you are? You know, I, I, I can take constructive criticism, but I can't take the, I, I can't take the uh, sideways comments in which I don't know how to approach them, and then it's said often and I can't get past it. So um, don't ruin people's, you know, relationships with, with people by doing stuff with that like that 
be happy for your friend for a little while and if you don't want them to talk about it, just like, oh, can we finish up there? I'm really sad that I, I lost that. You know, acknowledge your own insecurities because it'll happen. Um, okay, so that was the whole spiel about the karaoke contest, my genuine feelings um, about all of it, competing, winning, doing. Um, but now I'm gonna get you guys to the part that you've all been waiting for. It is here by popular demand. And by popular, I mean like my mom, the few people who go to karaoke with me, the DJ, the, the owner of the firehouse bar. Not many people wanna know about my life, but <laughs> I'm trying to get into this thing where I share because people really don't know what's going on with me. I'm very much an introvert. And I will definitely show you my extroverted side when you click on the video to see the full Carnival Valor cruise that me and my wonderful husband took this past September. Thank you guys for following me um, in this whole journey about how it all went down. If you want to see the full video, go ahead and click the link to the video right above and somewhere over here in this box. It'll pop up on the screen. But thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Mosaic. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I am trying to boost my followers. Uh, just to 10. 10, 10 followers. Change the world, small piece at a time. But I look forward to hearing from you guys and love to see your comments on anything you might want to see in the future. So remember, you are beautiful people, beautifully broken, purposefully placed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.